My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a 1968 Dodge Dart GTS, and can you believe it? This is a big block. It's a number match 383 motor under the hood. This thing's ground up restored to show condition. Numbers match, fender tag. This is the way it rolled out of the factory. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read the specs, study all the pictures, and that's where you'll find the price of every car we sell, along with the monthly finance option as well. We do finance these cars. It's at volocars.com. Uh, if you enjoy the video, subscribe to uh, our YouTube channel and make sure you click on that bell icon. I'm doing four great cars today and you want to be uh, notified as they're posted. Uh, but for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, these little darts uh, were typically grandma grocery getters and some were made as the performance model with the 340. And then a few were made with the 383 big blocks. Uh, they actually made a handful of them with the 440 motor. They uh, bring well over $100,000, $120,000. Uh, but this one here, 383, is all you need in a little dart. It's more than you need. Anyway, underneath the car is completely restored. Every component uh, was dropped down from the bottom of the car and rebuilt. Like the whole front end, uh, the steering, the suspension, uh, ball joints, bushings, shocks, same thing in the back. The leaf springs, bushings, uh, shocks, it's all been replaced. Uh, dual exhaust system, uh, factory type dual exhaust system uh, comes out the back with the chrome tips, the correct tips. Uh, these were drum brakes, actually I don't recall now. This one hit disc up front, I think it did. No, it's drum brakes all around. That's where a lot of the Dodges were, even up through 1970. Uh, but the system's been all rebuilt, you know, hoses replaced, e-brake is hooked up. Fuel system's been replaced, the tank is nice and shiny and clean. You look up at the motor, it's clean, spotless motor. Uh, the starter looks fresh. 727 automatic transmission uh, is clean. Uh, 323 gears and the eight and three quarter rear end back there. So underneath this car is really nice. Oh, and the floors and frame rails, all that looks to be rock solid. Has a thin uh, coat of undercoating on it, uh, but all looks really good. Now the body, let's check that out. I know part of the GTS package were the bulges on each side of the hood. And there's little red accents. There's red inside here on the emblems. And it really picks up the red line tire real nice. I think it's a nice combination. So anyway, the body. I don't see any damage or issues up here. Uh, this is all in really nice shape. Fits real nicely. A little dirt splashed up there. This is all real good. Nice. I don't see damage. I don't see rust. It's all in really nice shape. All looks real good. Again, no damage, no rust, no body work showing through. They call this British, no, they just call it racing green, not British racing green, just racing green. It is a metal flake color, uh, and the metal flake's really popping under these lights. It did come with the white bumblebee stripe that's on the fender tag, no vinyl top. I'll be honest with you, the paint is smooth and glossy. It shows really well. There's a little bit of ripple in the car. It's not a wavy car. And again, I'm being critical, a little bit of ripple, uh, but there's no damage, no rust. Uh, body looks beautiful, really, really does. And the paint is polished smooth and glossy. I'm sure minor imperfections, but nothing that has caught my attention. You got a little bit of red around the GTS emblems up here. Uh, the grill looks to be probably new. Uh, the bumpers re-chromed. This trim right here looks, well, it might have been replaced, but it has a few light scratches on it. Right here too, a few little scuffs. Round marker lights uh, look new. Uh, anyone know how many years they used the round marker lights? I think it was 68 only, 69 went to rectangle. 
uh, correct antenna. It comes with this sign here, uh, nice to put out at car shows. The windshield uh, is crystal clear. The wipers need to be adjusted. They're down too far. They didn't park in the right place. So make sure if you buy this, tell the salesman uh, to have that looked at. Uh, the mirror looks new. Some tiny freckles on the wind, uh, window frame. Door handles new. Uh, rear glass is crystal clear. Tail panel, this is definitely new. Bumpers re-chrome, tail lights are new, emblems, it's all beautiful. There's a little line in the paint. I don't even know if it's a crack or just a line, but I mean very tiny. I love the hubcaps. You just don't see them, and they're detailed up really nice. They're either restored or they're new. And then uh, it's got BF Goodrich radial red line tires. I did decode the fender tag, like I said, and it was born like you see it down to the red lines and the white bumblebee stripe. So that's the outside. Let's open it up and get under that hood, see what that looks like. All right, let's see what we got inside here. Under the trunk lid is painted smooth and glossy. It's got the sticker, the jams painted nice, weather strip is replaced. Now this uh, shiny uh, material, that's a sound deadener that they laid down in there. It just keeps the rattles to a minimum. And underneath this board is a, a restored rim with a new tire. Now the radial tires are a little bit wider than what they had back then. That's why the board sticks up a little bit. Uh, new mat. It does have the other part of the jack assembly here all put in place nice and clean. Uh, the original carburetors in the box and the original distributor. Uh, they both go with the car because there's replacements. Uh, and overall, yeah, clean trunk compartment. Yeah, those hubcaps are cool. I like them. They almost don't look like a hubcap. They look like a wheel. So the door jams are painted beautifully, weather strips are replaced, sill plates are replaced. Another unique feature for a dart is they have bucket seats and a console. Most of these are bench seats with the shifter on the column. So door panels, armrests, window cranks, all replaced. Whole dash area is restored. The dash pad, the instrument bezels, the speedometer, the heater controls, the knobs. This switch right here, I believe, is for the rear defroster, rear defogger uh, that it has back there. Original radio, nothing's cut up or broken. Cigarette lighter. Glove box liners replaced. So nice dash. Now here's the center console. It's original, so the chrome has a little bit of wear, but overall in very good shape. Uh, the seats are reupholstered. Down on the floor has embroidered carpet. The backs of the seats, uh, side panels, armrest, everything back here is excellent. If you can see that rear shelf, that slit in the middle, that's the rear defogger. It just blows air on the window. Headliners replaced, visors are replaced. Dome light's not working. Very nice inside. And if they put sound deadener in the trunk, probably has it in the car too, under the carpet. So getting to the motor. This is show quality. Uh, motor was rebuilt and painted and it has stock manifolds and valve covers and the air cleaner with the 383 four barrel. They call that a pie tin. It has a billet distributor and underneath there is an Edelbrock car, but like we talked about, the originals go with it. Uh, Mopar hoses, got the right clamps. The engine bay is painted real nicely. Has both horns, has a new alternator, correct Mopar radiator and cap, the right shroud. Even has a reproduction Mopar battery, 
all secured properly. Uh, this is kind of neat right here. This holds the plug wires in place. That's something that's always missing. And these are reproduction Chrysler dated plug wires too. Uh, the fender tag here, uh, again, I decoded it, matches up with the car, the colors, the options. Under the hood has insulation. Yeah, very, uh, very nice looking motor compartment here. I think it's a cool car. The colors really work. I love the little red accents. Uh, 383 big block buckets and a console and a dart. That's just a cool car. There's only 79 of these in the registry. That's in Galen Gauvier's registry. Uh, so not many around. I get some darts through here and they're typically 340 GTs, not a 383 big block GTS. And the restoration, I'm going to say it's exceptional. It's better than most. It's not the best one in the country, but it's a really nice, thorough restoration. You got number match motor, fender tag. We're all set. Now, in the picture, it has the hubcaps, and it also has craggers on it. He kept the craggers and put these tires back on it when I bought it. That's what I, I had to pick between them. Uh, these tires still have nubs on the tread, so he never even used the car with these tires. So I gave you my impression. Go to volocars.com. You can talk to the salesman about your questions or concerns. They can get this delivered to your driveway. They can get you a monthly finance payment uh, as well at volocars.com. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. You're going to see some great cars coming up. Thanks for watching.